Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. These two Big 12 rivals know each other very well. Maybe the key to this game, who will be able to break tendency? I mean, when you've been scouted as much as these two teams have, you've got to come up with a wrinkle or two if you want to be effective. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. The final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Nice run up the middle. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Got an opening. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Hart's into running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but he doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. Big hit, he's stopped in his tracks. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 43-yard line. Looking for his man, incomplete. That one sailed on it. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. Six yards with a short completion. That makes it open inches. Gaddis. He'd like to change field position with this punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 37. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. The intended receiver of the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. The Cougars had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Tackle. 
Walker at the 47 yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. run to the outside. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down back to deep in their own territory. 200, 200. Caught with room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 31. Second down. Caught. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Loss of two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up third and 12. It's the ninth play of the drive. is out to the tailback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 33. Nelson makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. Williams is the punter. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Catches it, and that's all. That'll make it second and four. Quick throw, picked off. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. From the 29-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. Brought down at the 16-yard line. the PAT. So a short three-play, 29-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 
Seven nothing. Baylor to kick this one off. Lee fields at the goal line. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34. The Bears really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. That brings, that brings him second, second and five. five. <laughs> Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle made at the 45. First down. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0, Bears. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. to that quickly and down he goes at the 47 they pick up good yardage that time on the pass play here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense and in this case he did nice job the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers in the formation zips it to the tailback incomplete so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's out of bounds at about the 45. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big-time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. He's tackled right around the 30. Play clocks at double zero. They just took too long. Delayed game. Offense. Looked like they might have been a little bit late getting the play in, and it results in a delay of game. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. forward to about the 33. Taylor comes away with about two yards and a little draw play. Well, this corner isn't the biggest guy on the field, but he made a nice tackle there. He heaves it to the end zone. No, incomplete. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. 
Kicks away. And it's good. Great snap and a perfect hold. And he just had an awesome follow through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 7 3, Baylor. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Baylor holds a four-point lead. He fights forward to about the 26. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. And he's leveled at the 43-yard line. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. That brings us third and ten. So that'll make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. It's away. Short punt. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That makes it second and two. He zips it out to the left. That tackle could have saved a very big play. Johnson makes the tackle. First And he just gets rid of it. Second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And he's taken down at the 13. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13. He goes out of bounds at the nine yard line. So it's 
the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Cowboys take the field today, ranked 22nd. And for Oklahoma State, they're aiming for their seventh win in a row. And for Morris, he's got a rushing touchdown in this one. Oklahoma State leads it 10-7. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. Nolan gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, heading for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. First time out of the half here. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires that quickly incomplete. Screen. The Bears call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Got some open field. Tackle around the 11 yard line. He fires this one. This play is number eight on the drive. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he tackles him hard at the two-yard line. They're going to go for the easy three here. Baylor can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up, and he got it. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Cowboys take the field as the 22nd ranked team in the land. This is a game we've been watching closely today. Here's a hotly contested battle. The Cowboys are on top, 13-7. In another game, the Gators enter today's game ranked number 14 and hoping to prove they are worthy of being ranked much higher. And for Florida, today is an opportunity for win number eight. Patterson's game is solid. He has a touchdown catch. The Gators have the edge, 14-7. We're tied at 10 in this one. We played a half and a 10-10 tie in this game.
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. Sends it sailing downfield. Loose football. Picks up the loose ball. And they finally make the stop at the 23-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Down immediately. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Rifles it right side. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. A short two-play, 23-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 17-10. Houston lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And that one's incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Sets up the screen. Tillback's got it. And they make the stop around the 27 yard line. Number 20 makes the tackle at the 27 yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Let's go! Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. He's at midfield, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. Looking right, intercepted. And he's tackled at the 44. the 44-yard line. First down. And he is drilled at the 43. Throw 
Eagles middle of the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 42. Rogers brings him down. Palmer is back deep to return. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. On the tackle at the 26-yard line. That brings up second and one. Houston is up a score. He has some room. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. That's good for a game of 13 yards. First down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 37. Clifford makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. First down. Quick strike and he drops it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 26. Clock's on the tackle with the 26-yard line. First down. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down around the 20-yard line. Game of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. And he's tackled in the open field. Johnson from the tackle at the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Houston is up seven. Quick throw incomplete. Bono's receiver. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the four yard line. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Gators come into the game ranked 14th in the nation. Let's take yet another peek at this game. Check out these two teams keeping it close. Florida's on top, 17-14. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese, 24 to 10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 25. 
Houston's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. in for a loss. Call a loss of one yard on the play. Man, let, That'll man, make it 35. Two down, two down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Set, set, wide, 80. Set down, wide, set down, 80. He's scrambling. There's a fumble. Recovered by the defense. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's got it with room to run. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Clark's on the tackle at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Hey, down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He lost the ball, and I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. So they'll go up to the booth to take a few more looks to see whether or not the ball was fumbled before the ball carrier was down. So the question on this one is whether or not the ball carrier's knee hit the ground before the fumble popped loose. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Houston's in front by 14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's under some heat. Well, this offense has got to be elated. This is what they had hoped for, a stop by their defense just to give them a chance. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. Baylor's are really used to having everything go their way on offense, and that hasn't been the case today. Hasn't been the case. You know, the offensive coordinator, I think, may have looked at this game as, as if it would be no problem just show up and be able to move the football, but I think he got a lesson on why it's important to take every single opponent seriously.
tackled around the 39-yard line. Well, when a defense coordinator has this big a lead and he sees his defense give up a big play like this, he's livid. He's very frustrated because that's a lack of focus from the defense. They've been playing great all game, and then they give up a big play like this. They've got to play until the final whistle. Flips it, middle to the running back. the ball here and brought down in the backfield. That, that makes, makes it third and goal. Third down now and goal to go. Third and goal. Third down now and goal to go. Ball on the four-yard line. Mike 50, Mike 50. Touchdown Bears. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Taylor gets six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Less than three minutes in the game. it out to maybe the 33 yard line. them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Pretty good gain. More importantly, though, it's good for the first down. That's heartbreaking for a defense. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. He makes it to the 28-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. From the 28-yard line, second down. Takes it. 
takes the ball inside. And he's stopped behind the line. Baylor will take their last time out. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 17. That's a game of 12 on the That makes it first and 10. From the 17 yard line. First down. A little over a minute in the game. Two yards there on the option keeper. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. First and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. It's first down. Defense trying to prevent any more damage. First and goal inside the five. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. This is the 11th play of this drive. And the ball game's over. The Cougars come out on top, 27-17. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports, Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.